little better attention there. I was trying to um, give you guys a little background there, but uh, I ain't doing so hot on that. <laughs> Super gravity force? It's weird. It's just weird. You weren't kidding. No, no, it's... There's a lot of, like... I feel like a lot of the things in this game that are gonna, like, give me trouble, you're not even gonna know unless I tell you. Because they're just very subtle little things. Um that are in the controls and the enemy behavior and stuff, and it's just kind of like, what? Okay. Like, the AI is, unfortunately, just not too bright in a lot of spots, and they just kind of sit there shooting at nothing like this. It's kind of like, hmm, okay. Also, the um, because you can only have one projectile on the screen, uh, it definitely is worth it to uh, oh to go ham. Like, see right there, I tried to jump, but the platform, I my edge of my foot grabbed it and it like shoved me down fast. It's just like, nope, you're going this way apparently. Um, oh, okay, that's all right. When you refill your health, um, thank you. I'm really not doing so hot. Okay, I thought that fire on the ground would hurt me. Apparently not. Okay. Uh, this game also has, like, a lot of branching paths. Um, and if you commit to one of those paths, um, you, uh, you can't go back a lot of the time. So there's, there's probably a lot of places in this game that I haven't even seen. Um, which is actually kind of cool, though, for replay value. I'm totally okay with that. If I can get close, if he's, when he's doing that, I can probably get some more hits in quickly. No. Jumping and shooting is a little awkward, too. Um, it looks like you should just be able to jump and shoot and kind of, you know, ham him a little bit there, but... Not exactly. It's a little stiff. Um, again, not bad. Just more like you have to be aware of it. You're like, oh, okay. Okay, I really should pay attention here. Okay. And yeah, you do get a, a screen clearing bomb thing. I don't know if it hurts bosses. Might as well give it a try. Oh, what's the button for it? Oh. There we go, okay, alright, good stuff. Anyway though, um, so yeah, I'm talking about a lot of the stuff that I don't care for in this game, um, and I will continue to be, but uh, some of the good stuff, like I was saying, is um, it has really just, I, I like the music a lot, it's really catchy. I like the areas too, a lot of these areas are really, I mean just look at this picture right here, you got the, the kind of purple clouds that are all ominous and you got the horizon there and this island that's like, you know, what is this place? What's going on there? And I don't know, it's it's got some cool looking scenery, I feel like. What were they thinking? AKA Age of VG. What were they thinking is like completely understand. I, I think what were they thinking all the time, definitely. Reminds me of Demon's Crest. Dude, I was just thinking about uh Um that game. Not too long, because I have a poster, like, you can't see it, but it's like literally, it's just off screen. Um, actually, you might see the edge of it. The edge of it's like right there. That's a Demon's Crest poster. Um, I want that game, dude. I really want to get that. It's too bad it's so expensive, dude. But one day, same thing. We'll get it. All spells and potions except life for them did nothing. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I know, or I heard that as well about uh, that game. Yeah. It definitely, I don't know, something about it calls to me, though. Like, the artwork and the feel of it. Um, yeah. This level is not cool. Um, it's cool looking, but it is very cheap. 
Right there, I just got hit because I landed on the ground. Something popped up that you can't see until it pops up. There is a lot of that. There's a lot of spots that are like, oh, hey, you have to jump down here. But guess what? There's spikes after you fall. Like, you're going to see a lot of very cheap, cheap things happening in this level. Um, fortunately, I kind of have an idea of it, at least. Like, I know it's going to happen, so I might be able to at least avoid a little bit of it, if I'm careful. Um... Yeah, so anytime you see me walking, by the way, uh... See, like, that, you can avoid that hit, but you really have to hold over as soon as you... Like, it's weird. It's not even, like, reliable exa- Oh, jeez. Um... Oh, there's also a jump here. There's a stupid jump here. Okay, so... Let me go down here real quick. Okay. This is the pit. You're probably going to see me coming back through this pit again and again. Because there is a jump up there. Nice. Okay, we got some health. Oh, there's lots of secrets, by the way. Um, I kind of mentioned that, but... Yeah, there's a lot. Uh... But yeah, this jump up here, this is probably the worst jump in the entire game, honestly. If you screw things up, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So this little robot thing on the tree, it's kind of cool. I don't, I don't know what the heck it is, but again, like more originality that I was talking about with this game. It's, it's definitely got originality. Um, so this, there's one right here, but this one is different. It's broken. Um, you, you're going to get a little bit of height from it, but then it's just going to crap out. Uh, if it craps out, then I have to make a pixel-perfect jump, I think. I say I think because I, I haven't tested it with, like, a uh, an emulator or anything, but I'm pretty sure it's pixel-perfect, so if I mess this jump up, then I'm going to be in a world of pain. Um, so, there we go. Okay, see, it breaks. If that breaks and you fall down the hole right now, um, you have to jump to this one, and I, I swear I think it's pixel-perfect. Like, I really do. It's not cool. Um, it took me quite a number of tries. So knowing that, I'm, I'm glad because I didn't have to deal with that this time. But the first time, I was just like, you know, oh, what do I do here? And yeah, not nice. Okay, um, you can actually increase your maximum health in this game. Uh, we're gonna, oh, you know what? If I go that way though, and I fall and I have to make that jump again, that would be awful. So you know what? Never mind. I don't want to do that again. It's like I want some secrets and stuff, especially to get some health. Oh, that's a shield. That's nice. I'm just gonna try to plow through some of this. Oh, darn. See, I jumped early because some of the jumps, or the platforms, they give you just enough height to be like, oh, now you can jump, but then it goes right down and you're like, oh, okay. And I didn't want to wait for that to happen. I'm actually... Dang, dude, there's like nothing I can do to these guys. Okay, cool. Nice! Full heal, sweet. Alright, I'm happy to have that. I don't even know where that just came from. Uh, you'll see me kind of fidgeting about in spots like that, because of just, again, possible secrets and stuff. Sprite work is a bit muddy in my opinion. But you're right, there's clearly a lot of heart put into the game. Um, if you mean Wolf Child, yeah, it's... I, I think kinda bad is a good good way to put this game, honestly. So my dad's this stuff got lost in the box. Oh, and eventually even the cartridge. Dang, that stinks. That stinks. Uh, you'd probably send it to me? I don't know if I could accept a gift like that, dude. That's very... Because I, I know you probably would. But I'd, I'd probably turn it down. Or at least... Uh, not before telling you that that game is expensive. Um, just the cartridge alone, I think it's like $250. I would imagine CIB, it's probably like 500 or something. Um, so, yeah, I'd have to like be like, yo, dude. Oh! See? Oh, and, oh, and I just... Darn it. Okay, I can't get back up there. As far as I know, it is now impossible to get back up there, um, unless I die. Uh, and it, it takes me back, so... There's a lot of little spots like that. I wonder if I could... Yeah. Well done. Back to the lame fist, okay. 
I like the way he runs. It's kind of... Not quite realistic, but I don't know. Nothing in here? No, I guess not. Okay. Especially when, he, when he's in the wolf form and you're just running along. I don't know. I think he looks kind of cool. See, there. Spikes. Look at that. You fall down and right into spikes. That's so mean. I didn't actually know it for sure, but... But it doesn't matter, because I jumped left, and I should have jumped right. And I'm probably going to get hit anyway, unless I can build enough momentum. On no, okay. No, I'm getting hit. Yeah. Unless I can just walk through them, actually. You know what? I think you can walk through spikes. Um, I might get a second chance, too, at that, that fall. Yeah, I think I do. I didn't realize how far it just took me back. Okay. I know it's... Oh, you do? Oh, okay. Well, I appreciate the thought. I do. Um, no, I'm just planning on trying to get it one day. I'll, I'll shell out the big bucks for it. I don't care. Like I said, I'm a gamer, dude. I mean, that's 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 what I love. So, I mean, it's I, I know a lot of people are like, dude, that's you could get an emulator and just play it like that or get a flash cart and play it like that. But no, I, I'm a collector. and You know me. It's my happy place. Other people like to buy fancy cars and big houses and gold watches and whatever else. I don't know. Um, oh, you can walk there. Okay. Um, me, I like to buy games. Retro games. That makes me happy. This is really chill music. Just, oh, I like it. I don't know how long this thing's gonna last. Okay, cool. This part kind of stinks. Okay, sweet. Let's ah, that cheap shot, dude. Oh, so mean. I'm already gonna lose my wolf form soon. Oh my goodness, so much damage. And you notice the sound effects are kind of weak. Well, not they, they are pretty weak, in my opinion. Um, it's, it's just... Everything sounds like a bird when it dies. Like, everything. Um, I think even the bosses sound that way. It's like, what the heck? Um, cool, I made that jump. I've never been here. Ooh, anything good? I don't even know what that is. Oh, yeah, another thing. The power-ups are not all that intuitive. Um, oh, stupid plant thing. Like, I don't even know what I picked up back there. I don't even know what a lot of the stuff I pick up actually is. The letters, if you spell them out, um, bonus, I believe, is a bonus life or bonus continue. Um, extra is... I think an extra slot of health. I think that might be... Maybe. Because there's another thing, too, that might be... Oh, okay, this is where we want to... I don't even know if the points do anything... Like, why does everything sound like a bird when you hit it? Alright, that's good. Oh, I don't know if I've ever gone in here. Wow, wait a minute. I don't know what just hit me there. Oh, or there, okay. Maybe I... Whatever. How do you... Oh, the thing I... Bro oh, of course. Darn it. Alright. Yeah, I jumped the gun. It's... I'm just so quick to break power-ups. This, this game punishes you for breaking power-ups sometimes. Now, what happens if I drop down? Where am I? I've never been here. Uh, of course. Okay. That's a common theme to just have spikes when you land. And the whole game it does that. It's very rude. Uh, how do I... Okay, I guess I just gotta kind of take some hits. No, no, don't disappear. Oh. What does this thing take? What is going on? Oh, oh, okay. I guess you can slide under it, sort of. Whoa, oh, hey! Alright, I got some points in there. See, that's what I'm talking about with the secrets. That's That, to me, is cool. It's rewarding to go and explore. There's a lot of that. Valkyrie profile is expensive too, and I still want to lend you my copy. Though my copy is pretty worthless. Crack jewel case and the discs have stickers on it from the video store I bought it from. 
Um, Techno, I really appreciate that, but um, yeah, I I honestly uh, I wouldn't want to borrow it because uh, uh, if anything happened to it, I'd feel so bad. I'd rather just wait um, till I can afford my own copy, kind of thing. Uh, but thank you, dude, because I, I know you mean that. I know you do. Um, and I really appreciate it. Like, really. Uh, we're going to be fighting a boss in a second, but let me just catch up on uh, the rest of the chat here. Not much of a collector. Uh, use flashcards. Yeah, that's fair enough, dude. Hey, it's to each his own. I, I, uh, I have no argument against that. It's just for me, I, I do like to collect and... Um, I don't know, it feels really good to have the game in my hand and hold it, and it's very nostalgic for me, um, because I've been gaming since I was a little kid. Yeah, it's lucky that some systems games are really cheap. Three flashcards, one for SNES, 64 and this. Oh, okay. This game is, yeah, it's very rude. This is a very rude game. That's a great way to put it. They save me thought. Yeah, flashcards can definitely in the long run save you a lot. And you're getting, you know, as close to the real experience as you can there pretty much without actually having the real thing. So that's that's always nice. Is how I describe Soten. Interesting. Okay. See, I know nothing about it, but that's on purpose, as you know how I do. Alright, so boss time. This guy... Uh, if I remember right, this boss is actually kind of a joke. If I remember right, we'll see. I think... That's right. He shoots down at an angle. Um, like that, okay. So he does shoot, okay. Right. I wasn't sure if he hit him if he cancels his shot. Alright. Well, it does not. So it's kind of like Dracula, you just kind of wait. Uh, I'm doing a bad job though. And he seems to just kind of repeat his pattern, actually. That's right. Okay. I almost got hit. I'm almost dead. I need to be more careful. This is not hitting him. I guess I just gotta be a little closer. But this is the boss right here. I mean, this is it. This is literally the boss fight. I don't know how I'm not hitting him when he's up there. Hitboxes are a little weird in this game. There we go. A little crotch jab there. I don't want to die. See, this is why I was saying this game feels, like, incomplete. I mean, it's like, really? Is this really how you wanted your boss fight to be? Just, just kind of stand here? I mean, that's it. That's it. Got him. It, yes, the music. Yes, agreed. I'm I'm glad you agree too. That makes me happy. Cause yeah, it's just and and actually, there's a song I'm really looking forward to. Cause there's a song that's like, well, I don't know. It's just it's my favorite song in the game. But I think it's like stage five or something. Yeah, yeah. And Earthbound, yeah, that game is expensive. I got super lucky with that game. Super lucky. 
because it is worth having. Earthbound is an excellent game. Like to know what my things are worth? Yeah, fair enough, Techno. Fair enough. Steel Battalion CIB. Uh, I actually don't know the value of that one. Uh, what's What does that one go for? Oh, this stage. Ugh. This stage is very cheap. It's full of slopes, so I, you're going to see me dancing around a lot. Um, ugh. This... It's cool looking in its own little way and stuff. See, why does everything sound like that bird sound? Um, I don't know. Okay, so first thing that's gonna, if, if you're, it's your first time playing this, the first thing, oh look, by the way, no health refill between stages. Um, so yeah. Uh, the first thing that's probably gonna get you is right somewhere around here. There's these little shrimp, yeah. They fall in time. Uh, to hit you when you're running if you're at running speed like you know how in like a good game that allows for speed running if you if you mo keep moving um, And there's obstacles that are probably gonna fall and hit you They instead miss you by like a pixel and you're like wow, but they made it that way No in this game. It's the opposite if you are moving at full speed You're gonna get bonked on the head multiple times instead you have to just tiptoe like this and be like, okay Where is it? And then these these awkward things like this, so when you're trying to dance around, it shoves you fast. So you're like, what the... You know, you're trying to run along. It slows you when you go uphill on it, but then it speeds you up as you go... And you're like, what the heck? So if you're trying to fight something and you're dancing around on this thing, it bounces you off of it. It, it just... It's like, what happened? I don't know. So, watch out for that stuff. More shrimp. You see how close you have to get for them to fall and the speed at which they fall. Also, these blocks are weird. Some of them you jump on, and as you see, nothing happens. Others, though, of course, spikes. More, more spikes when you fall. That's nice. And I just died from a bug hidden in the ground. Um, um, where was I going with that? Spikes through me. Uh, cool. Shrimp. I don't remember what I was going to say there. Um, but yeah, you guys get the idea. It's just... Not... Nice... At times. Oh yeah, the, the block's there. Um, okay, so if I just... Oh, I meant to actually... Okay. There's a thing in the ground there. There we go. But like, these blocks, you can hit sometimes. Sometimes you can't. That's good. That's really good we got that. Um, and sometimes you can hit them by jumping on them. Um, and just kind of like falling downwards? Other times, no though. So it's weird, and it, it's- there's other places in the game like that, so like here, I'm jumping, and see there. Like the other ones I jumped on, they didn't break. Um, up top there, that's why you saw me jumping, because I was like, do these ones break? No they don't, but these ones apparently do. We just got our first weapon power up. Um, you can actually get, uh, different weapons. That was a grenade, oops. Um, you can get different weapons. Um, every other weapon that you can get has a limited amount of ammo. After you use it, you just go back to that default little teardrop-looking thing. Um, so, oh, and you might be thinking, Andy, man, you know, you only have six shots left. Why don't you switch to the default, you know, save some ammo? Can't do that. You have to use the one with ammo. Um... You can't, you can't switch. So, use it up, and yeah, that's, that's it. Um, so that kind of stinks. See that little down arrow icon? I don't know what that does. I have no idea. Um, I think I just, okay, I got a life extension, cool, alright. So we got a little secret here. Well, I guess it's not a secret, this is, I think this is the intended way, I'm pretty sure. Just proceeding carefully, there we go, a little health, that's good. Can you get up there? I don't think I can actually. No, I don't think I can make that jump. Any shrimp? Okay. Ooh. Nice, nice. Okay, cool. We're, uh, that that uh, additional life that you see me having there, um, that's permanent. So that's nice. That's at least really nice. The game is definitely uh, 
forgiving in, in that way. Um, you don't want to jump here because you will break the blocks like that. Um, but then at the same time, you know, you don't want to get hit. Is that anything? It just kind of looks like something there. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump that. Uh, oh, you guys really... Uh, let me catch up here. $300, though it retailed for about 200 because of its giant controller. Wow, okay. Man. Uh, where did I leave off? Oh, there we go, okay. They didn't make a lot of them? Okay. Casual guy for retro? Um, oh, okay. You dislike speedrunning because it just removes the fun of the game? How much can we bug the game out, just turn it into RNG, no fun fest? Um, I mean, I see what you're getting at, Doggy, but at the same time, I, I actually really enjoy speedrunning because I feel like it um, reveals a lot about a game that people uh, did not initially know because they put so much work into it. Um, I'm not huge on speedrunning myself, like I have here and there. Um, but I don't know, as like, the idea and the community of it, I, I really like it a lot. Um, I think it's, it's pretty nifty, but fair enough. I'm not trying to change your mind, by the way, that's, you are entitled to that. But it's just not your type of thing? Yeah, fair enough, fair enough indeed. I believe the blocks can be killed if you are in beast mode. Um, it seems to be that like a lot of them you can, but then there's others where you just can't. Um, I swear there was parts in the game where I was, like, not able to. I, th I think, anyway. 100% over speedrunning? I like 100%ing a game if it's worth it. Yeah, I'm more of an observer of, uh, speedrunning. Um, than speedrunning myself. Most of the time. I have speedrun Blaster Master. It was very casually. And then Brutal Doom, uh, TNT. I actually put some time into that. Uh, I'll have to show you guys one day the actual runs that I did. I'm sorry, I'm still catching up on uh, chat here. You do have to be in beast mode to break the blocks under you, but there are some, some still where I was in beast mode and I swear I don't think it broke them. Could the arrow down be a single lightning bolt? If so, it replenishes one point of extra vitality. Um, maybe. Maybe, it, let me see here. I think the manual specifies some of this stuff. But then I think it doesn't for others. Yeah, like here, uh, let's see here. Um... Oh, this game actually has a restart option. It says, if you become stuck or you would like to give up, which um, is kind of like not exactly a good sign for a game to have a thing where it's like, yeah, you get stuck or you need to give up. You can press start, you pause the game, and then you press A and B at the same time. It'll restart you at the last point you were at, the last continue point. Also, the manual is, like, I think incorrect about some things. Um, to throw a smart bomb, the grenade thingy... Well, hold on, let's see. Yeah, see, to throw one of the bombs on the ground, it's A or X. I think it was A when I did it. Um, and you throw a bomb, you just clear the screen of all enemies. But in the manual, it says, Pressing and holding the fire button will make Saul throw a smart bomb to the floor. Uh, so... Yeah... Uh, 
I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's like they just kind of had uh, intentions for certain things, and then at the last minute they were like, actually, let's change it. Um, so yeah, about the bonuses... Uh... Oh, here we go. Uh... Well, it's showing there's point bonuses, um, lives, Vitality, but it's not actually showing the arrow down one, I think. That's kind of funny. Maybe they forgot to put it in. Seems like they have a lot of other stuff, though. It's mainly for replenishing life. The shield one is here, extend vitality is here. But there's nothing with a down arrow, so I don't, I don't know. blocks you were jumping on was part of the demo, and the demo broke one of the two blocks, but they were in Beast. Um, yeah, those might have been back there. I might not have been in Beast when I was... I just... Uh, other parts of the game, though, I'm fairly certain... Uh, it didn't work for me. I think, anyway. We'll see, though. Maybe we'll come across some. Alright, um, yeah, this is, wait, am I going the right way? Oh, okay. I almost went the wrong way. Oh, stupid worm thing. I don't know what just shot at me from over there, but okay. Another down, okay, so we got a down arrow. We have, let's see, we have B-O-N-U of bonus, we have E-X and A of extra, we have weapon, no weapon thing right now, 91, 410, and we're missing three health, four bombs. I don't see any difference at all. So maybe it's a continue. Or, I don't know. I don't even know. Is there something over here? Oh, there is, hey. You know, I might have actually found this before. I still can't get over the fact that everything that you hit sounds like a bird. It's like, what happened? Now, I actually went to the right... Yeah, I, I think I did... Because I kind of remember thinking, well, what happens if I drop down instead of going right? I went right last time, so let's drop down and see- Oh, okay. Oh, hey, I got a little- Oh, hey, wait a minute, is this- I think this is the super powerful weapon. This might be my favorite weapon in the game, yeah. Wow, cool, I'm glad I dropped down here. This is really a strong, I mean, like, broken strong kind of weapon here. Um, and... Um, oh, okay. Um, when you replenish ammo, even if it's not the same kind of ammo, if you've collected at least once, then you kind of get to keep it until you die, I think. Now, this is weird. I'm gonna hit stuff. It's like there's a seeker here or something, but I oh, can't seem to hit anything. I'm actually trying to conserve my ammo a little bit now. I don't want to just go spamming on this one, because this one's actually really good. There's actually a lot of other weapons in the game. Like, I, I think there's maybe like eight total or something. Uh, but I swear, for me anyway, I think this is the ultimate one. Um, it is just really pretty brutal, especially against, like, bosses, too, and stuff. Oh. And that's it. Um, okay, so, 
I, I see you guys are talking amongst yourselves. That's fine, obviously. Um, but I might miss messages because I, I try to keep up, but you know, it's when it's moving a little faster, it's, it's a little harder for me. So if I miss a message that's directed at me and you're like, yo, is he ignoring me? I'm not. Just use the at Andy thing uh, if you're really trying to get me, please. Uh oh, man, cheap hit. Nothing over there? Okay. Yeah, those little worm things, you gotta kinda coax them out. Nice extra ammo. Okay, see, now I didn't pick up the same ammo, um, but it just gives you it for everything. Like, it's, I don't know, it's just like, here you go. Oh, by the way, uh, platform, you know, Contra, freaking Contra, down and jump to drop down? No, can't do it in this game. There is no dropping down, as far as I know. Uh, so that's kind of poopy. Yes, full health too. All right. Little art thing. Okay. Is anything? Yeah. Okay. See, like, you can break the ones to get in this, but now you can't break those, and. I'm jumping here, I'm in wolf form, but yet, they don't break. So... They will at some point, I'm... Yeah, see, but not over here, so... That's what I was saying, it's like there's... There's no difference, so you just kinda gotta guess. This is a cryptic game. This is definitely a cryptic game at times. Um, you just go with it. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna use my ammo. You see, I, I, I saw that bug and I was like, oh man, but it's just, I wanted to move away and it like throws me away. It's crazy. Uh, oh! Okay, I actually didn't. Oh my goodness, so many spikes. That's so mean. Why do you do this to me, game? Okay, I actually should have went up. I, I wasn't sure if up or down was the way I wanted to go, but that was a one-way street. Again, there's a lot- oh, saw blades. You know, the first thing I thought of was Hollow Knight as soon as I got to this part. I was like, yo, dude, more saw blades, really? I don't need more saw blades in my life. But here we are. Ugh. There's a little more arc to it. Oh, uh, I think I can ride that. Yeah, okay. Does it go anywhere, though? Hmm, see, that's kind of weird. Why is this thing taking me up here, but I can't seem to... And this happened last time, too. I don't, I don't know... I don't know what that's about. Maybe they plan for a secret to be there, or maybe I just can't find it. See right there. The slope is so fast, I was trying to ease my way down, but it shot me right into the saw blade. It was very rude. Also, I'm actually a little surprised that did not hit me. Okay. Oh, I tried to jump over that one. Okay. See the way he like looks when he runs? He looks cool. I don't know. I, I kind of like his run. He's just like... It's kind of silly looking, but kind of cool. And if you look, he's got like little claws on his hands. It's like, why am I not able to go around slashing things with my claws? I mean, the projectiles are cool, but... You know, I, I'm a, a wolf man. I'm supposed to do wolf man stuff like, you know, shredding my enemies with my claws. And, well, I don't get to, so that's kind of unfortunate. Maybe that's like a... Maybe that down arrow is a checkpoint. Okay. The green stuff on the floor, I forgot. That's ice physics. So, yeah, I, I just missed it. That's... At least you can see it, though. It's like, oh, okay, it makes sense. Whereas the sloping is just awkward.
feels kind of early access. It does have a little bit of that, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I can, I can definitely agree with that. Supersonic Journey? Hello and welcome to you. Got it, don't mind us. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm happy. Uh, there's actually, like, uh... There's been a lot of people that have just... Uh... Come in chat and started yucking it up and stuff, and... Um, told me that they, uh... Still, uh, talk and whatnot afterwards, and I'm always happy about that. <laughs> oh man, die katana. You noticed that it's not bleeped anymore. I finally uncensored that word from chat. You can say die katana now. I'm finally over it. Like, it's good, but when will it be patched? Yeah, this game needs a patch. It really needs a patch. That's exactly... Because I think they have a good foundation here. I really do. Like, there's some cool originality going on here. It just needs a patch. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no, you don't. You do not. You just say it as is. Yo, oh, look at all these goodies. Oh, triple shot. We don't want that. Nope. Oh, I don't know if I've ever been this way. Hmm. Wow, look at all this stuff we're getting. Cool. Wow. Oh, hey. I, this weapon, I didn't get this... Okay, I definitely haven't been here before, because I didn't get that weapon until way later in the game. It's like a little boomerang thingy. But again, I don't know. I, I just... The fireball thing, I feel like, is way pro Man, we got, like, a super-duper secret here. Cool. I guess that's it. Wow. Man, my life bar is, like, nuts. I feel like my life bar is as long as it was by the time I got to the end of the game the first time I played this. I think I, I specified it, by the way, but I, in case I didn't, I've, I've only actually played through this game one time. And it was my actual first time playing the game, period. Um, I think this level ends kind of weird. I think if I go left here, it just ends. But I'm kind of curious what's at that right. You know, I'm just going to go right. Because I'm a little concerned it might just end it. Because it, it does that, and there's no going back. As far as I know, anyway. Whoa. Yeah, I don't... Oh. Okay. Man. Is it worth it? Oh, it's a drop down. You have to. Oh, so no, it wasn't. All right. So I just kind of went like backwards. I see. Darn. That's all right. This feels like the end of the level. Maybe not. Oh, there we go. Okay. Just get to the long hallway. End of it. And you... Yay. <laughs> Dragos 287. Hello, and welcome to you. Feel free to chat or lurk. Take your pick. Uh, <laughs> Alright, boss time. This boss is... Not even a boss. Um, it's just endurance. Um, again, it's just kind of like... We're, we need a patch. I'm going to try to save ammo. These things come down. And I can't turn right. What the heck? Okay, there we go. That was weird. I don't know if I actually have to move over for that thing. So this is this is the boss. Right here we go. Yep. I don't know how long I can actually wait till these guys turn around and hit me, but apparently a while, so I'm just hitting two at a time if I can. But I don't want to wait too long either, because I, I, I don't want to get hit, because I, I don't know how far away I am from not being in my wolf form, but at least I, I'm pretty sure I'm still getting two in one shot, uh, like every other pass. 
I mean, this is it. This is this is the boss fight. Like, what happened here? And it's long enough, too, where I was kind of like, am I doing something wrong? I thought maybe it was like, okay, am I supposed to do something else? But no, that's it. There you go. Stage 3 boss fight, I think that was? Stage 3? Stage 4? Whatever. I don't know. Yeah, stage 3. That... It's like, what? Oh, hey! I think this is the stage with the really cool music. I think. Um, oh, I think it is. Bomb! Yo, what's up, Bomb? Welcome back. Welcome back. Yo, I gotta pee, guys. I gotta make with the pee. I really gotta pee. Put my shoes back on. I am really, like, I have thought multiple times about giving Daikatana another try. Just because it irks me that I bought that game so long ago and was, like, so disappointed that I returned it. And I never finished it. And usually a first-person shooter, even if it's not great, I usually finish it. Usually. Yeah. Be right back. <laughs> yeah, my invisible sub button. Exactly. <laughs> and, you, and you can get my imaginary emoticon. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a dog and a cat playing together with a little ball of string, and it's really adorable. Just, just imagine it. It's there. Yep. For the low, low cost of only zero dollars, you can have that. Is that arrow down maybe a smart bomb pickup? Doesn't seem to be because it did not increase my supply unless four is the max. <laughs> Not washing hands. All right, dude. Fair enough. Andy Cat Dog. Yeah, that's right. Is that a beer? It is beer, my man. Yeah, dude. One of just, you know me. Every six months, gotta have a beer. I don't know. It's probably shorter than six. I don't know. 
if you average it out, maybe like every two or three months, I'll have a little beer now and again. Can't find anything telling what it is. Yeah, because I, I was watching the status screen for anything to change when I picked it up and nothing changed. The only thing I can think of is maybe it's like a continued spot thing? A beer with Andy Fine? Yeah! Dude, if you ever come to visit me, Devil, I will gladly buy you a beer. Zarek! Welcome back, Zarek. I hope you're doing good. He survived a hurricane. He earned that beverage. Yeah! Yeah, dude, I did! Yes. And my OSSC. I'm so happy I got that. But yeah, I did earn that beer. The down arrow is extra HP. Why didn't it show it change though? Hi, Zarek. Hi, back at you. Finding a microbrewery and buying you a beer. <laughs> okay. Alright. That sounds good. Alright. Uh, let's see if this is the stage that I'm hoping it is. I really want to hear that, that song. It's like such a catchy... Yeah, this is it! Oh, I'm turning it up a little. Hang on. I like this song. Yeah. Oh, oh. Spikes? Okay. I just like this song so much, it's so catchy. Look, and he runs to it too, he's like, yeah. They look like little predator... thingies. Ooh. I think they're cool looking. That weird bird noise, but... We're like going 80s now or so- oh hey, look at all this! Yo! Can I get up there? Ooh, okay. Yes! It's a cool looking level. Yeah, I like it! Counted my three, uh, three and a half floppy disks, and I have 287? Wow! Do you have, like, the good stuff, or is it, like, all, like, you know, uh, what is it, um, Lotus and Boring stuff? I mean, do, do, do you have any Doom and, and Wolfenstein and... Duke Nukem, Jill of the Jungle. What, what am I using? There we go. You have, do you have the good stuff in there? Actually, Jill of the Jungle is five and a half. I think. I don't know if they ever put it on three and a half. Ah, oh, I'm just. I really like this song. It's just so darn catchy. Yo, Maximum Carnage is definitely not a bad game. Um, I actually have it right behind me. That was one of the games I was thinking about playing uh, fairly soon. It's just really tough, though. That game is, like, you need to know some strategies or figure them out quickly because it will kick your... Okay, see, look. There's the down arrow. Now, let's, let's try this again. So, we got 49 ammo. We got extra EXT... A, 182, 710 points, B-O-N-U, no S, 5, so you can go above 4 smart bombs, but the health bar, it's been said a few times now that the health bar is the thing for the down arrow, so the health bar currently is at the number 1. Now, I swear when I picked up the other one, it didn't move my health bar at all, and I was 3 health short from max, but... Maybe I'm crazy, so let's let's see or maybe it's not always I, I don't know, but see nothing 
Nothing just changed. What the heck? What the heck? Also, the, the maximum... Well, here. I just got to show you now. It's the uh, one of two... One of th three, as, as far as I know, uh, colored games in the Super Nintendo library. And I feel happy that I have two of those three, and getting the third one is actually not too bad. But that's it. It's it's red. I mean, it's it's red. Isn't that cool? Civilization, Railroad. Oh, wow. Yeah. You go, Zarek. That's what I'm talking about. That's cool. That's cool that you have all those still. I, I wish I had mine. I actually am missing quite a few because... Uh, oh, the only time in my life... It was actually not horribly long ago. It was probably like four... Was, I think it was before I started streaming. It was not long before it. Um... I was uh, cleaning out a lot of stuff from my room, and I threw out some stuff that I really wish I hadn't thrown out, but I was kind of trying to clean out my life a little bit, and I was still dealing with depression and all that, and uh, I just I wish I didn't throw away some of the stuff I did. Fortunately, it's not like I threw away a lot of good stuff. It was just a few things, like... My old Micron Pentium 2 400 megahertz computer, I threw that away, and I really wish I hadn't, because, man, I could use that now. Like, that thing, oh, especially now that I have my uh, OSSC as well, I could plug that thing right into it and show you guys, like, I could, like, actually stream it too. So that's actually something I want to replace at some point. Yeah, Doom was red as well. And then Killer Instinct is black. Cool. Can I? I don't think I can jump on. Well, maybe. No, okay. Ah, uh, extra ammo. Okay. Should I. Wait, what was that? Okay. Huh. Thought I got something else. Let's see it. I'm curious to see those feelers. <laughs> Just games. It's the best kind of feelers. Whole bunch of games. Take a box of games over a box of shoes any day, dude. Alright, look at all that good stuff. I think it's interesting how they don't refill your health between stages. But I'm okay with that because they don't take away your little sub-weapon thing either, so that's... That's like, alright, at least I get to keep that. I think something happens with some of those, yeah. Okay. Yeah. An octopus man thing? Sure. I guess you're in the laboratory of your dad's place. I didn't think about that, but yeah, okay, that, that makes sense. I, I think anyway. Wow, I don't know how that didn't hit me. And again, everything sounds like a friggin' bird. I don't think you can get down where that guy is. I'm trying to like... Oh, look, he's... You can either walk up normal or you can kind of... How did I do that? Oh, there, you... You have to get up a little bit, then hold at an angle, and he kind of powers his way up. That's funny! Okay. Hmm. Nice. What? Okay. Oh, Oh, jeez, I'm getting, like, owned here. 
Whenever you collect ammo for anything, it, it switches to that ammo, so you gotta be careful. Um, to switch back to whatever your preferred weapon is, which is definitely this killer Hadouken. Doo -doo. Killer Instinct was black on this nest, yep. Yes it was. Is. I really wish that they made Killer Instinct 1 for a Nintendo 64. Um, because, dang it dude, there was, I think that was a full health refill thing. Oh well. Um, yeah actually, that, that might be good to use. Yeah. Um, because they could have had it, like, really awesome on N64. We could have got, like, the good version. I mean, the Super Nintendo version is good to an extent, but I mean, it's it's obviously no arcade version. And I actually started on the arcade version, so it's really tough for me to play the SNES version, knowing that the arcade version is what it is. But I still have it. Oh, this one's cool looking. It's like a little pinwheel doodad, but is it actually viable? Mm, not so much in my opinion. I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. I guess we'll go up. Uh, I, I don't want to get hit. Oh my gosh! Ugh. This game. So mean. Dude, this music. Ah, I know I keep saying it, but I just really like it. It's just so catchy. Yes, health back. Sweet. I don't know where I'm going. It's, but fortunately, this game seems to be really like nice about like if you don't know where you're going, because you always. Well, it seems like I just always end up going the right way at some point. So keep going. Hey, that looks like maybe a secret there. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh. Uh. It didn't lead to anything? Huh. Okay. I didn't even know there was a green Nintendo 64 game. Siamese Dream by the Smashing Pumpkins on vinyl. Is that worth a lot of money or like really rare or something? Like, just the way you pointed it out, it sounds like it might be or something. A bunch of cool weapons and a good one? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's something I always kind of keep an eye out on is is when a game has like a bunch of stuff and then how much of it is actually viable. Like that game that I played that beat 'em up a while ago, Battle Zeke Den. Man, that game was like really cool looking and all kinds of awesome moves, but how many were viable? Like two? Just not your normal black record. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, that's cool. I didn't know you were a record man, devil. Learned something new about you. Oh, hey, what do we got? Oh, alright. Uh... Say sometimes. Hmm, okay. More secrets, yes. It, it's so satisfying just walking along and then hitting a secret area. I don't know, I really like it. I think we got another endurance here. Hmm, this might be better. Just sit over here. Or he walks through me, okay.
Look at them. They look so cool. I think. I want to say they look like predator birds, but I think it's the bird sound that's more so doing. I mean, I guess kind of the head a little bit. gotta work out in between and stay fit okay there you go end of that part I guess <laughs> level design in this reminds me of Sonic oh you know I, I actually I, I totally get what you're saying on that yes Oh, by the way, um, I think the first stage in the game uh, is the hardest stage. Um, at least when I played through it before, that's what it felt like. Rayman 2, Army Men, Sarge's Heroes. Oh, okay. Battle Tanks. Did not know that, yeah. There's a couple blue ones as well, like Perfect Dark or whatever it is. Uh, and like some fishing game. And then yellow, I know Donkey Kong and Earthworm Jim 3, those were yellow. Cruising USA, that was pretty classic, yeah. Yeah, that was definitely classic. Paige Chan, hello, welcome to you, welcome, welcome. Mario Party, so much fun though, uh... Yeah... Controllers for N64, man, it just feels like those things go so quickly. Yeah. That is unfortunate. Whoa, laser gun. Wow, that guy's packing some serious heat there. Oh man, shot up. Anything over there? Ooh, okay. I shot his laser out of the air, wow. This weapon is so powerful. This game is actually on Sega CD, and it has a CD soundtrack that's like, well, CD quality. Um, I will definitely be attempting to get that one day, um, because I really want to hear that soundtrack. And, and I just want to see if the Sega CD version of this is is uh, much different or not. I'm very curious about that. Like, I have so many games. I have so many. I'm such a spoiled butt. But there's still so many that I don't have that I want to get. And I love it. Because it's, it gives me something to look forward to. Can I, oh. Oh, we got little... What are they? Yoku blocks? Whatever down there? Kind of ish. But they're not disappearing. They just spin. But yeah. They're, okay. I, I have to go this way. Alright. Alright. We're going to wait and... Get the most... Oh, that spun fast all of a sudden. That was weird. Okay. Alright. Yeah, Alright. Sweet. There was a point in the game, and I think I might have hit it, where they just give you so much ammo um, that it's kind of like you can just kind of keep firing off shots ahead of you just to kind of act as a buffer because um, well, why not? Oh, look at that guy! <laughs> I don't know what he is, but he looks cool. He's like a fish man guy. Why did the one take two hits and then he took four? Or whatever. I think they look cool. They actually look like they'd be like really strong. That huge back on them, anyway. And it's interesting too when enemies touch you that it does not hurt you. I actually am really surprised that this game does that because I don't know. So many games don't do that. So as maybe not so good as a lot of other features of this game are. It's like pretty cool that, you know, oh man, I should have waited on that, I think. Yeah, darn it. Okay. This part stinks. See those spikes down there? Uh. 
Okay. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Okay, we could use a little health. Extend, it's cool. Yeah, alright. I don't know how the whole hit thing works, because at first I thought it was like three hits, and then you go out of wolf form. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But as long as we maintain it, we're, we're pretty strong. And... Should be okay, for the most part, I think. I kind of remember, anyway. I'm so glad that this stage is as long as it is, too. Like, if you're gonna get a stage that's, like, really long, you want one with, like, some really kick-butt music, so... It's like, it all came together for this stage for me. I'm just, I'm, I'm a happy little boy right now. Yo, that was not nice. Oh, this part, okay. If you hit those, I like I don't think you can even jump on those. I think I tried it and it's like no. They're like special boxes. I think. Oh, you like kinda have a little ice physics going on on those rollers, okay. That makes sense though. The other spots in the game though it's just awkward. Hey, yeah, alright. Good stuff. See, like look how much ammo I'm getting. In the earlier parts of the game, you get, like, almost none. Like, just none. Um, like, I didn't even know if you could get different weapons for, like, the first almost two levels of the game or something like that. And then in here, it's just like, oh, dude, oh, yeah, we forgot. We were supposed to add, like, you know, weapons and stuff. Here you go. And then it's... Now I have, like, tons, and it's great. I'll take it. Yes. Yes. Hey, wait. Electric ball? Oh, I've seen- okay, yeah. It's still not as good as this thing, in my opinion. Oop. See, this- what happens is a lot of the other projectiles, they don't pierce enemies, they don't go in a straight line, etc, etc. Uh, they don't do a whole lot of damage. Uh, this... Um... <laughs> this, uh, just passes right through them, and it's pretty cool. I don't know why they... You see what just happened right there. Let's just go with it, I guess. Just go with it. This game is funny. I'm sorry, I actually have not read chat for a few moments here. Um, if I missed any messages, uh, you know, obviously you can... Night Trap, aka original Five Nights at Freddy's. That's an interesting comparison, yeah. I haven't seen any games for 32X that interest me, but Sega CD, I definitely uh, have an interest in that. I thought the Zelda games were for CDI. The bad ones that Nintendo refuses to recognize. I'm pretty sure that's CDI. Yo, Settlers? Yeah. But yeah, Sega CD, I've, I've heard too, yeah, I guess like a lot of them don't work these days anymore and stuff, and so uh, if you get one, you gotta like do some stuff to get it working again. But fortunately, they seem salvageable, but still, yeah, it's just, excuse me, it's one of those things. But like, Final Fight um, is on Sega CD, and it's like a little bit different, it's got some extra levels compared to like the SNES, um, and this game, for example. I actually have a Sega CD game uh, that I got uh, through one transaction, and uh, I just don't have any way to play it yet. It's called, like, 
Lunar Eternal Blue, something like that. And it's apparently a really good game. Uh, what are we fighting here? Apparently a big bug? Okay. So this weapon is really good against bosses. I don't know if there's better weapons, but I like it. It seems to do the job pretty well. You see me sliding all around. See, look, boss is dead. Awesome. Um, you see me sliding around a lot because it's that weird slopiness. Inner core, get ready. I think this might be the final stage. Oh, I think this has a pretty good song too, actually. What is that? Oh, oh, okay. I forgot, it's like, now Fire Shrimp. Yeah, this is a good song too, cool, alright. I'm just gonna be quiet for a moment. See, it's like... As... Shoddy... As some of this game is... It's just got some really kicking tunes, in my opinion, that... Just make it... To more tolerable. <laughs> it's like, well... You didn't get a lot of the... Other things right, and they need to be patched, but boy... You really don't need to patch the music. As far as I'm concerned. Like, I will easily listen to this music, um, even not playing the game, and I have, but it's it's actually the Sega CD version of the music. Um, which, if you're, if you're like, yo, I, I'd actually like to listen to that, make sure you get the Sega CD version, it's really good. Um, it's, I mean, it... CD quality, so it is way better. In my opinion, anyway. The SNES version is good too, obviously, but, you know. Oh, this. Uh. It's... Okay, there. Ah! Yeah, I can. Nah, I can't get that. No, no big. Apparently, I can. Wait, did that just start me over? That's what it feels like. Wait a minute. Oops. Huh. I guess that's actually like a major shortcut you can take there. Assuming it's not like a one-way activation kind of thing. The original Rise of the Triad soundtrack? You know, I'm not actually sure. I've played the original Rise of the Triad, but I I was playing the um, the shareware, and I don't know if that had. I don't remember a soundtrack on it, if it had one or not. Yeah, I really don't remember. I kind of think it did. Yo, shield. All right, cool. It, you know, the shield is nice. It actually lasts for a pretty decent amount of time. I hate when a game has a shield and it lasts for like three seconds. Like, what the heck? It's really... Why even bother having it if it's just gonna crap out on you two seconds later? But this one actually feels pretty good. Hmm, let's try this way. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, of course. 
Oh, and it's the R. If I get that, I actually get ex Oh, but you get hit. How you- Oh, okay. Oh, but then... Hmm. And there is- There isn't a whole lot of jump control. So I- I can't... Yeah. I guess you just gotta take the hit? Oh. I guess. Hopefully I can find a heal soon. Now, in the bottom left corner, the 9, I believe, is smart bombs that clear the screen. I'm not actually sure what that 1 is. Yeah, I don't know if that's like... Continue or what? I might lose my wolf form if I'm not careful here. This could. Oh, okay, yes. Yippee skippy. I'm actually surprised I just got that jump considering I was on a slant. Wait, is this where I came from? Kind of looks the same. I think I came from that. I'm not entirely sure, but I know that I have gone the left over here and that took me somewhere, so I'm just going to actually repeat that. Oh, of course. <laughs> this game. When the platform is falling, you see how I'm bouncing? You can't jump when you're bouncing. You gotta... Well, actually, I don't I don't think you can jump at all, so I, maybe I just have to jump right away. Oh, okay. I just I thought I was gonna hit my head, and I did, but it apparently wasn't uh, gonna mess me up too bad. Hey, don't do that. Oh, this this power up here, I I don't know. It just kind of seeks them, but look how many hits it takes. It's a ton of hits. Doesn't pierce. I don't know. Just doesn't seem worth it to me. Look at that. Just one shot him, or four shot him with a really silly little seeker. It's like, it's not really any contest there even. I think the choice is pretty obvious. Hmm. hmm. Oh, I could've... Oh, darn it. I could've... If I can get back to that, I don't think I can though. Probably not, because none of this game lets you... Hey! Yeah, there's a very slim chance I can get back there. Darn it, of course I figure out how to get past it after I jump. Quake had really, uh, cool music. Really cool music. The shareware music was okay too. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to see if I can. Uh, I'm sure it's on YouTube or something. I'll I'll take a listen to uh, the full rise of the triad. Oh, I think we might be coming up on the final boss. I think. We'll see. Um, maybe not yet. Oh. oh, that's cool looking. Forgot about those. Okay, no, I don't think we're there quite there yet. What are we using? Okay. So don't do that. Stick with the good stuff, dude. Hmm. Oh. Nice shot, dude. 
Uh, we'll try up here. One of the things that I, I, I do really appreciate about this game eh, is that um, when you kill an enemy, um, as far as I know, it stays dead. Um, I, I don't think it comes back ever. Well, I mean, if you die, but like, um, you know, if, if you walk away quite a distance, I, I, don't, I don't think they come back. Now, I have not tested that extensively, but it just feels that way. Aww. Aww. Don't die now. Nice. Dude, it's like every time I need a, a health refill, it's like... There it is. So they, I feel like they had the health refills placed really well, honestly. I'm just plowing through. Sweet. Ah, oh, spikes, of course. That's a pretty good distance on that jump there. There we go, okay. Sometimes it seems like when you hit those things, they drop something, and other times they don't. I don't really know what that's about. I'd say there's actually a very decent chance that I will give this game a go uh, on hard mode at some point. I just really wasn't up for it t tonight after uh, doing the Castlevania thing. But uh, yeah, I very well might do that uh, one of these days. I don't know, this game just has like a certain charm to it. Whoa, I can just Man, this weapon is great. I didn't know I could destroy the projectiles for this thing. That's cool. Uh oh, okay. Actually, we're gonna check this wall. Famous315, hello, welcome to you. I was old enough to enjoy Quake and young enough to not mind listening to nursery rhymes for a few hours, so it was all okay. <laughs> Yo, I am so glad I got to uh, try out Quake growing up. Well, not try it, but have it. Quake is an excellent game. Even to this day, I mean, it's... It shows its age in some ways, but not in gameplay, in my opinion. Only graphically, and obviously audio quality, whatever, but you know, it's... I dig this game in a weird way. Thanks for showing it off. Well... Thanks for saying that, because that's what I was hoping. I was hoping other people might s see some redeeming qualities to it, because, yeah, it's, like, pretty much it for me, too. It's, like, it has some interesting, kind of cool features, but at the same time, yeah, it's kind of, like, you can obviously see it's got its issues. But, yeah, I just, I, I like it. That's why I was just, like, you know, I'm eventually gonna get this for Sega CD, uh, and, I don't know, just see what that version is like. I hope it has, uh, yo, Zardian, I've seen that game, but I've never played it, and I really want to try it, and that game is not, like, disgustingly expensive. I think this is the final boss. Yeah, ouch, okay. I think it is. Yeah, okay. That's your dad. That's Jerk.
Oh yeah. Can I destroy that if I hit it? Don't you? Oh. Whoa, 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 the crap. I don't know what those are. I don't remember seeing those. Uh oh. Ham time. I might die. Yes, all right. Woo. <gasps> All right, we saved our dad. We did it, we did it. Zardia was another kind of not great game. Um, it it looked that way to me, and I some of the reviews I read, um, yeah, it definitely sounded kind of not so great. But just the look of it and everything, I was like, man, I just I really want to try it one day. And that one is like, um, I, I think that one's actually like affordable, uh, if I recall. So yeah, one day. That one will at least be sooner rather than later. I know, yeah. It's all good now. Now, you'll notice there's a lot of, uh... Well, actually, I don't know if there's a single Japanese name in here. Man on the Stairs and all of his friends. So, I believe this was made in the U.S., possibly. Watch out for that guy. Okay. All right, I will. Is he, is he a troublemaker? Dave Primer's true pimp. Okay. <laughs> That's good to know. That's good to know. I feel like Wolf Child now looks like he's wearing some kind of strange life preserver or something. As simple as this game is in certain ways and stuff, um, I like how they wrapped up the end here. I mean, it's you saved him, and now you're on the boat and sailing off. Okay. Although I really was expecting the island to like blow up or something. I mean, it's like I don't know. Isn't that how it always goes when you go on an island and do stuff, you, you, you blow it up when you're done. When you do the job, you, you blow it up afterwards, and they didn't blow it up. So I was like, what the heck? Why why didn't they blow it up? And especially, that's where like your dad lived and stuff. Why not go back in there, I guess, and clean it up? And, you know, you killed all the bad guys, right? He's wearing floaties? Okay, okay. He's a marine biologist safety first. Yes, of course. Why didn't I think of that? Yeah. I mean, look at him. He's, he's smart. He's like, yo, I'm going to be possibly doing some swimming here. He gets it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Then man child. <laughs> 